Hey everyone, it's Tesla Tom here. Thank you so much for joining us today on Ludicrous Feed. In this video, we'll be doing a service mode battery health check for our 2019 Tesla Model 3 Performance here in Sydney, Australia. This car is now three and a half years old. It is from the Fremont factory in California, USA. It's got 59,000 kilometers on the odometer. And to do a battery health check in service mode, first of all, to enter service mode outside a service center in Australia, you must have software version 2023.6.8. This is not guaranteed across the entire fleet because our 2015 uh, AP1 Model S, uh, you can enter service mode, which I'm about to show you how to do this, but it does not allow you to do a, a battery health check in that car. So just check your vehicle, uh, but certainly for this vehicle, uh, which is an NMC battery, uh, nickel, manganese, cobalt, Tesla Model 3 from 2019, you can first of all enter service mode, and secondly, you can also do a battery health check. So to go into service mode, you go to uh, the car settings, you go to software, and then you look for the Model 3 wording, and just click or just press on the wording there, you'll see a flash come up, and when that happens, let go, and you'll see the prompt, and that's when you type in service. Press OK. Service mode should only be enabled by service personnel to service or repair a stationary vehicle. Are you sure you want to enable service mode? Caution, do not enable service mode on public roads unless there is a maintenance requirement to do so. Now, before I do this, I just wanted to check one more thing. So I'll just go to cancel, go to charging. As you'll see, I'm down to 5% battery and I'll show you why in a second why I did that. Uh, but I've raised my charging limit to 100% just in case because I know from past experience to do a service check or do a battery health check, the car will charge up to 100%. So I don't want any impediment to that happening. And I've also taken off schedule charging as well. All right, so let's go back to service mode, back to software, hold that until the flash, let go, type in service, press okay, we've done that already, we'll enable it. And now you'll see the red border around the screen. You are now in service mode. Okay, and then you'll see some information about the car. So as I said, uh, it's got 59,000 kilometers on it, almost 60,000 kilometers now for this 2019 Tesla Model 3 with firmware 2023.6.8. Let's go to the high voltage screen and let's go to the HV system. Okay, so uh, currently 5% charge up here. It says 4.8% charge. So that's the real charge, 4.8 versus 5. Very accurate. And let's do a health test. So let's press that right now. So currently you'll see it's now 6.31 p.m. on Saturday night. And we'll see what happens when we press health test. Okay, hold the right turn signal in the active position and press down on the brake for eight seconds. So gateway unlock in progress. Keep holding the right turn signal in the active position and press down on the brake. Done, okay. So we've got 90 minutes for the gateway to be unlocked. I'll just let go of the indicator. And let's do a health test. So let's press health test. Now it says vehicle needs to be plugged into a greater than six kilowatt AC charger. The test will take up to 24 hours. Do not interact with the vehicle or the test may abort. So we'll try not to touch the vehicle even from the app. And it says before running the session, state of the charge must be below 50%. That's fine. Vehicle must be plugged into an AC charging station capable of supplying at least six kilowatts. Test may take up to 24 hours. HV battery will be discharged and then charged to full. Heat will be generated outside the vehicle during the discharge. Now it says 24 hours, but assuming that's if your car is 50%. So that's why I've dropped the charge right down to 5%. Uh, I've driven a lot, lot these last few days to make sure we got that, down that low. And hopefully uh, as the car discharges the heat and the battery state of charge goes down, it won't take 24 hours. The charging will probably take about six to seven hours to get it 100%. So we should have a result at least uh, by the morning. Okay, so let me plug my charger in first. Okay, so I press the charger. Okay, charge flap goes up. Let's plug in. Okay, so it's flashing blue, flashing green. All right, so we are good to go. Okay, so let's go back to the screen. Okay, so there we go, that's the service screen. And uh, we're happy, so everything's plugged in, less than 50%, and I don't wanna wait any longer because it's starting to charge already. So let's do that, let's press run. Okay. All right, so charging has stopped. So it says here, test in progress. You can stop it, but I don't want to. 
I wanted to hopefully run it down and we should hopefully uh, hear the car starting to discharge very soon. Okay, so um, it's now 8.52 p.m. same night, Saturday night. Um, so the battery's run down to 4%, but not because the car did anything. Um, I've never once heard the fan go crazy or try to dispel heat. I know we're a very low state of charge, but uh, nothing like that. I mean, I've, I can turn the AC on like that and you can hear it firing up, but that's just normal operation. Um, uh, the car itself hasn't tried to dispel any more heat, like I said. So I don't know whether this is working or not. I've actually restarted or rebooted the car actually um, as well. Um, that didn't seem to change anything. Um, so again, you know, a couple of hours have passed. Uh, I will keep monitoring it before I go to bed. I've had a little look on YouTube and online and uh, it looks like Carl from Out of Spec YouTube channel in America also had some strange results doing this in another Model 3. Okay, stay tuned, I will keep you guys informed. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, I'm outside the car now, and um, yeah, this, the car's just not whirring, there's no fan noise, no heat being dispelled, so not sure what's going on. Uh, I'll just keep waiting. Okay, so it's the next day, everyone. It's 11.28 a.m. on Sunday, and uh, I've got to say, nothing has happened. In fact, um, yeah, the car started charging itself. Now, I actually kind of forced the issue a bit because I woke up this morning, it was still 4%, no noise, nothing had happened. And I realized that uh, I think the car had actually been in stop charging mode. And by that, I mean, in under charging there, it was uh, it was sort of start, it said start charging, which meant that it was like stopping itself from charging. So I thought maybe if I press start charging, then it might do something. And then the car started charging itself at 11 kilowatts at top speed, three phase, which is what we have here in this house. So, yeah, it still says test in progress. Um, so I don't know whether it's actually doing anything and I can still stop it if I want to. It's charging. It's over 50% now. So as you remember, uh, for this battery health test to take place, one of the conditions that must be met is that the car must be under 50%. So as you can see, it's now 50.7%. I don't know whether we're going to get a happy ending from this exercise. We shall see when we get to 100% whether it actually gives us a percentage or not. Uh, positive to take out of this is that I can at least uh, go back to the scan my Tesla app with my OBD device and then give you, I guess, an update on the uh, current uh, battery capacity in kilowatt hours. Uh, I think the scan my Tesla app will probably give us uh, more information and more stats for nerds which is what I want to see. So anyway, we'll see what happens when we get to 100%. I'll certainly keep everyone updated. Stay tuned. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is now 4.02 p.m. on Sunday, 29 degrees Celsius. It's been a warm day, uh, humid as well here in Sydney, Australia. And you can see that the battery health test has completed, which I'm very happy about. And look at that, 91%. Let me just zoom in for you so you can see. Hope you can see that. So 91%, okay, so I'm pretty happy with that, obviously. 91% for a three and a half year old Tesla Model 3 performance uh, with an NMC battery chemistry made in Vermont, USA, uh, three and a half years ago. So yeah, that's that's good. Um, so, I mean, uh, it's 4 or 2 p.m. We restarted the test at 9 p.m. last night, if you recall from earlier the video. So that's uh, 16 plus three, that's 19 hours. So just five hours under 24. So I think we probably could have done this sooner. As you saw earlier, I actually forced the car to charge uh, earlier this morning. Basically it sat 4% idle on battery state of charge for about, probably about 12 hours. So I wonder whether had I restarted or forced the car to charge earlier, I would have got a result much sooner. Anyway, nonetheless, uh, uh, you know, 19 hours later, 91% state of, 91% uh, battery health, which is great. So it's lost 9% degradation uh, in three and a half years for the Tesla Model 3 performance. Very happy with that. Uh, so yeah, I guess the next step is to actually compare this to scan my Tesla, which uses the OBD port. Uh, you might have seen an early video of mine of how to install that. And then we'll compare that result with this result now that the battery is basically being calibrated from 4% at least up to 100%. So one second, let me uh, put the OBD port in. Okay, so I've got my Scan My Tesla app up and uh, it's plugged into the uh, OBD or a CAN bus port of the Model 3. 
And I'll just put the cursor up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so uh, what I'm really interested in is uh, this full pack. It says 66.8. Um, but what's really interesting is that the remaining number is 67.1. Now, normally the remaining number is either equal to or, the f uh, or less than the full pack number. I guess at this very top end at 100%, uh, it's kind of hard to know because, you know, it's, I guess it's not quite uh, super accurate at the top at 100%. So what I can do is actually divide uh, both 66.8 and 67.1 divided by the, uh, you know, the range of this or the rated range of this car, which is 74. And that's what the developer of this app, Scan My Tesla, has told me to use. So if I divide 60, what was it, 60, so 66.8 divided by 74, you get 90%. And if I divide 67.1 divided by 74, we get 90, yeah, sort of high 90%. So that kind of correlates with uh, this number here, this 91% battery health. Now, what's really interesting is that, um, you know, I, I've actually, because I've calibrated this car, well, the car has calibrated the car because we've dropped down to 4% and then charged 100% again. I've actually done this twice now because um, before I did the service uh, service mode battery health check, we did another calibration, but we only got down to 9%. Uh, and since then we've charged a couple of times because we've d driven for a few days in between tests. So I guess the battery has settled down in that time and the quote unquote, the battery range has increased uh, to this number, 91%. So I guess, um, yeah, now we know that with Scammy Tesla, because I also posted, as you know from the other video, uh, I posted that uh, the range was 17%. If we use that top number here, when new 77.8, let me just show you there. When new 77.8, which the developer has said not to use because that's not accurate because we should use the rated range, which is 74. Um, if we change the rated range to 74 with my original battery capacity, which was 64, then it was a degradation of 13%. But now that we've recalibrated it again a couple of times, uh, now we know the full pack is now 66.8 at least. So we've actually jumped by two kilowatt hours uh, in that time that we've recalibrated uh, the battery. So from 64 up to 66. So I guess in summary, what can I make out of these tests is that if you're gonna recalibrate your battery BMS, we should you should probably do it a couple of times. Uh, drain it, charge it 100%, drain it, charge it 100%, or at least close to 0% anyway down the bottom, if you can, if it's practical. Uh, let the battery settle for a couple of days and then do either a Scan My Tesla test or a service mode test like that. Um, and you can see there's like at least a two kilowatt hour difference between a, an uncalibrated battery versus a calibrated battery. Uh, an uncalibrated battery because we normally charge this car between 50 to 80 percent because we don't use that much during the day, during the week. Uh, so this tar car doesn't get much of a chance to go to zero or very close to zero usually. So that was worth doing. What's the margin of error? So two kilowatt hours uh, with a battery pack of 74 kilowatt hours, it's probably close to about three percent margin of error if you don't calibrate it properly. So if you don't want to calibrate it, then you'll know that the margin of error is between two to three uh, percent. If you why don't you scan my Tesla instead of doing this test, which admittedly is a little cumbersome. It can take up to 24 hours. Um, and you know, if you need your car pretty much every day, you can't do this test, it's not practical, then scan my Tesla is certainly a good app to use as long as you ex accept that the, the margin of error, even with a calibrated battery, might be out by 1%. So I think 1% I think margin of error is, is acceptable for most people, it is for me anyway. I, I, this, you know, I'm not going to do this all the time. This is just a one-off to show you guys and also to put in my mind that the the car's battery health is good. Like 9%, I think is acceptable for a three and a half year old car, in my opinion. Like the battery tends to plateau at about 10% uh, over the life of a vehicle generally within five to five to six to seven years around that time. So 9% degradation in three and a half years, that's okay. Maybe we'll do another one, uh, you know, every year just to make sure it's okay. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Just a few things, obviously, a few caveats is that, um, you know, this car didn't make a lot of noise, didn't dispel a lot of heat like I thought it would at, um, at 4% state of charge, like it did for a lot of American YouTubers. Uh, if you're seeing that the car's not doing much, like mine was, it stuck at like 4% with the cable, with the charge, uh, cable plugged in, 
uh, it's stuck there overnight at 4%, not doing much, then maybe force a charge if it's such a low state of charge, like under 10%. Uh, maybe I should have started with a higher state of charge at like you know, maybe 50, close to 50% as the service mode recommended. I just thought if I go lower, then I don't have to, you know, wait as long to get the result. But um, yeah, anyway, that that's kind of a self calibration there, like low state of charge and force the car to charge 100%. And I got the result, uh, yeah, within probably, probably a few minutes of it reaching 100%. So there we go. All right, everyone, well, that's it for me. I hope that makes sense. I know I... Uh, gave a lot of facts and figures and theory and semantics and explanations. Hopefully it all makes sense. Uh, bottom line, uh, this is probably the gold standard uh, for battery degradation test in service mode. You can't get better than the car's own inbuilt, uh, you know, test. Uh, if you want to a, do a quicker test, uh, if, you don't, if you can't afford 24 hours without your car, then maybe scan my Tesla is next best because it's plugging straight into the CAN bus port. Accepting that even with a calibrated battery, you might be up by 1%, margin of error. With an uncalibrated battery, then you might be looking at maybe 2 to 3% uh, error, which is probably acceptable in my opinion. You know, knowing that if I didn't calibrate it, it'd be probably 11 to 12 to 13%, which it was uncalibrated, which is fine. Uh, then you can probably deduct 2 or 3% from that. And if you're going to use Gamma Tesla, use the rated range state of chart or full battery pack uh, instead of the one spit out, spat out by the car, which is 77.8. That's too high. So use maybe 74 for this Model 3 2019 version uh, performance or long range. And just check maybe EV database for what they use as the usable battery size uh, for your uh, make and model of Tesla. All right, everyone, that's Tesla Tom. Thank you so much for watching. Big explanation there. Hope that all made sense. If it didn't, please leave a comment, uh, ask a question, I'll try and answer it below. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Until the next ludicrous feed video, happy charging.